I am uh, Mr. Koko. Welcome back. I know it has been long. But then I would like to advise you, in as much as you are watching the videos, you have to be practicing in the skills lab so that at least you are able to recall what you're doing. Okay, so today we are starting with um, catheter care and catheterization. So we'll do both for male and female catheterization. So at the moment, let's begin with one, which is a female catheterization, okay? So let me start, we start with hand washing as usual. That, that. So this is for OSC, remember? Okay, so then you start drying your hands. So this is um, Mrs. Uh, Mwape. So you start. Good afternoon, Mrs. Mwape. I am student number two. I have come here to insert a catheter on you. May I please go ahead? Okay, she said she can go ahead. Is there anything I can do for you before I begin? Okay, nothing. Okay, thank you. So. Um, she has said uh, nothing, so I'll be back. Let me just uh, prepare. Okay, so preparation. What you're supposed to prepare? Uh, since it's forced, the gloves are already there. Even the trolley is uh, set already. So what you have to prepare is sablon. So this is a uh, sablon which you're going to use for uh, valve swabbing because you're supposed to conduct valve swabbing before you insert. So you go around the, the trolley and then pour in that receiver. Okay. Apart from that, you are supposed to open up the catheter. So the catheter will come like this. So you have to check for expiry date as well as uh, the size. So the size is indicated here. This is a uh, size 16, which is there. And then the expiry date is 2025, so you have to just check. Okay. So meaning that you can use it. Then it says peel to open. So peel to open, you are supposed to peel from here and do like that now since this is sterile you're not supposed to touch so you just go there and drop it okay okay so you do it from there from behind then you throw this in a receiver okay. so apart from that you're supposed to ensure that uh, the urine bag is uh, available this is the urine bag okay for the urine bag you can open it it's not sterile but you need your assistant to come and uh, uh, give it to you. So what you do is you can get it so that uh, you, you see. So uh, this is the how a urine bag looks like. It's got uh, graduations or numbers which are marked to represent how much urine can be collected. So it starts from there. As you can see, this is uh, 100 mils, 500 mils up to 1,000 there. Then the maximum is uh, 2,000 mils. So this is the part that you're going to connect to the catheter. So you ask your assistant to give you this, okay? Then apart from that, there is a strapping. Strapping will be there to secure the catheter on the thigh. So you can get it. You can cut it with the scissors, or if you're able to cut with your with your, just with your hands, you can do it, okay? So you can do that and uh, cut, okay? Or you can use a scissors or a blade. You can try, use this side as well, and just have a small piece, okay? Just a small piece, you stick it there. Okay, once you are done with the preparation there, then you can go to the patient because you promised to the patient that you'll be able to go back. So let me see what you can do. So you can get your examination gloves from under, they were under there, and then done. Okay, so once you done, What you have to do is now go and get the incontinent sheet. So we're going to get the incontinent sheet from there. So then go to the patient, Mrs. Mwape, I'm back. So I've come to put the incontinent sheet. Okay. So I have explained and she knows that I'm here. Okay. So you expose this part where you'll be doing your procedure from. Okay. So then Ask your assistant, if possible, to at least make her sit. So you can try, and then if she's able to lift up her waist, you can do it and instruct the patient. If she's unable to, your assistant will be able to assist. So you can put it under there, okay, under the buttocks. 
just like that. Then leave the patient in dorsal position because you'll be doing your procedure in dorsal position. So this is how you're going to leave the patient. But meanwhile, you cover the patient with a bed sheet just for privacy. Then your assistant to expose as you come back. Okay. So this is what you do. And then you take off these examination gloves inside out. That. Then what you're going to do next is you're going to now scrub. So scrubbing is up to your elbows. So the way we've been doing it. So you come here, since it's for us, you go like that. Just uh, one, then two, then you get your soap. And then just do one, two, then from there you go up to your elbow, then from there you go up to your elbow. Then you just remove the soap by rinsing up to your elbow, then again this side up to your elbow. Then you can close with your elbow just like that. Or if you can't close, ask your assistant to help you. Then you get a, a, a drip. Then you start drying up your hands so how you start you start from inside so this is the part i'm drying with the first corner then in between fingers up to there then the second corner will go up from there from the fingers up to the elbow so in between you dry then you go in a circular manner from there you have to go to the third corner Third corner meaning you have to go this other hand, okay? Inside, then from there, in between the fingers, okay? Up to that point. Then the last corner, which is fourth corner, you're supposed to go from the fingers up to the elbow. From there, in between the fingers, then you go in a circular manner. So from there, what you do is you just do this, the hand towel, then bend a little and throw it down there so that you don't throw it on the ground. Then you come to donning of gloves. So donning of gloves, it's a, a sterile technique you're supposed to get. So you, this part is uh, clean because you're going to hold it. But this other part for the fingers, you're not supposed to touch with your bare hand. So you pick. Okay. Once you pick like that, then you slide in your finger. Okay. Like that even if it's not nicely put you can move on to the other side then you can hold this side inside because this is now sterile sort with bare hands then you can put your fingers there okay so from there you can now uh, finish off by aligning the fingers where they're supposed to be so even this side you can do that because you did not complete so this they can touch because this is sterile. Okay. So what you do next is uh, you prepare the swabs for valve swabbing. So you're just going to prepare just a few. Okay. So one, two. Okay. So now uh, the actual valve swabbing, where you've been asked to do valve swabbing, you prepare about even six to seven swabs. But now that we are just doing catheter uh, catheterization. You're supposed to just prepare even just one or two to just show the, the examiner that you are going to do um, valve swabbing. So my assistant, would you please uh, get KY jelly for me? And, uh, so my assistant will get KY jelly, that tube, then don't put, just pop it, open out from the sterile tube, so instruct your assistant. Then just uh, pop it, turn, away the, turn, turn around, the, get the lid, the lid and poke the other side, no, no, the other side. Turn the lead like that. Yes, this part pops there. Yes, now it's open. Yes. So what you do is you ask your assistant to just put a little of KY jelly like that. Just a drop. Not so close. Huh. So this is how you put KY jelly so that it helps you to uh, put this catheter so that it slides in through the urethra. So you do that. Then from this end, you're supposed to locate where you're supposed to tear the plastic here. So you should go there and tear. Okay. So there are plastics which will have something here where you should just tear easily. And there are those which do not have, like this one doesn't have, where you should tear. So you can do that. Okay. And expose this little part here. 
then get your white jelly, then that's where you're going to put like that, so that the catheter can slide in. So before now you insert, you're supposed to start with uh, the jerky. Hey, my assistant, will you just uh, please uh, expose the patient? Then you get the first drip from here. You go from the furthest, you drop. Then another drip. So this is similar to how you drip as you are performing um, valve swabbing. So you go to the abdomen. That's the second. Then the third drip goes the nearest. So you go like that. And then that's how you do it okay so this part is where you're going to be able to see what you're doing okay so at this moment you can then put a receiver this receiver down there okay so um, in this case you can just place it there so this is the one that is going to collect urine initially okay since you've done that you can even tell the examiner that I will perform valva swabbing but in this case since you are catheterizing and it's only five minutes you only use one swab to show that you, you'll, be able, you'll be able to perform a valva swabbing. So you do it like that once, from top to bottom. Let me just do this so that you see. From top to bottom, just one swab like that. Then you tell the examiner, I'm, I'll be able to perform valva swabbing. You, you throw away this swab. Once you do that, get the catheter now. This is the part which has KY jelly. So... It's the one that is going to go in the urethra. So what you do is, uh, you can even get uh, gauze if you want. You can put there, there are no restrictions, so that you open up, okay? So this gauze just assisting you to open up, so that you don't even contaminate. You can push it now. The urethra is there. This is the vagina down here. The vagina is down, which is this part. Then that's the anus down there. Then this is the urethra. So you just open up a little bit and push in. The urethra for women is short, so just push in. Just about um, 10 centimeters, you'll even be able to see urine. Even 5 centimeters, you'll be able to see. So just push in just a little bit like that. About 10 centimeters, meaning that's enough. Okay, so once you do that, you'll be able to see urine coming out and collecting in this plastic. So you'll be able to remove it like that. Okay. Be able to remove the plastic. Then urine will keep collecting in the receiver. So once urine is collecting in the receiver, what you do is you need to secure this uh, catheter. So what you can do is you get this part here. This part is where urine is coming from. Urine is draining from this side. So for the catheter to hold there in the bladder, you need to at least push in water. So what it says here, if you read, it says that um, 30 mils, which is saying 30 mils stroke cc. So this is uh, 30 mils of water that you should put. So I've got about 20 so you should have to put, uh, be able to put about 30, okay? So you can push in water like that, okay, until it's uh, 30. So you'll be able to push in 30 mils, okay? So once you do that, you'll be able now to, collect, to connect the urine bag. So the urine bag is uh, here, okay? So you should be able to connect the urine bag by removing this cup here. There's a cup. So remove the cup and then connect this side here. Once you connect, meaning that urine should be able to collect here. So what you do is, there is this part here. This part when it's like that, meaning it's closed. When it's like this, meaning it's open. So ensure that this part is closed like that. If it's like this, out, it's open. Closed, meaning it's uh, closed. Okay, so then you're done. Now, the next step is uh, for you now to secure the catheter okay so get your strapping get your strapping and secure this catheter on the thigh like this so be able to secure this catheter on the thigh so that there is no pulling and there is no irritation so you do that okay so ensure that the, the woman is comfortable by securing it nicely okay so you secure it like that then the bag you secure it uh, just underneath the bed that you tie it. So at this moment, catheterization is done. So what you do now is just remove this part uh, of the linen, the drapes, then start the other protocols that we do. So 
I'm, I'm about to start now. So, Mrs. Mwape, I've uh, catheterized you. So ensure that you do not pull the catheter because it is helping you to drain urine and so that you, you're comfortable, you don't soil the bed. That, so if you feel any discomfort, please do not hesitate to contact me or to call upon me. Thank you very much for allowing me to do this procedure. Okay. So then at this moment, you can even move on. You can remove the gloves and then do the hand wash. Do the hand washing, then that's the end of the procedure. So you need to go to the sister in charge and say, Assistant in charge, I have catheterized Mrs. Mwape and I've left Mrs. Mwape comfortable and uh, she has no complaints at the moment. So this is how you end the procedure. If there is someone to document, you can also document. Then I can uh, as well advise you again, keep practicing so that you really get to know the, the skill and so that you're able to do the procedure within five minutes. Thank you very much for watching.